there are a variety of mediums that organisms must travel through, and there are certain body designs that are ideal for these environments. Evolution independently engineered legs for moving across uneven terrain. Both insects and early amphibians evolve legs in very different ways. Insect legs are more like hydraulic pumps, but the end result is the same, that legs are a good energy-efficient way to move across uneven terrain. Evolution designed wings as well, and insects, birds, bats, pterodactyls. Even when we look at airplanes, they still have wings. It has to be that way. The helicopter's wings rotate above them. In the water, single-celled organisms will use hair-like projections called flagella to propel themselves around. Boats and submarines use propellers, which are similar to flagella in general principle. Fish use muscles to push their fins side to side, and dolphins move their fins up and down with their mammalian abdominal muscles. Evolution repeats itself in these environments. We would expect to see robots millions of years from now that use these same physical principles for locomotion. The swimming robots will have fins or propellers. More slowly moving robots may have sails like jellyfish or hot air balloons. The robots that move across uneven terrain would have legs. Some will use impulses and jump like frogs. Some will slither like snakes or worms. The burrowing robots would be cylindrical. The flying robots would have wings. There would also be robots with some advanced technologies that we don't see in nature. Some will have wheels on smooth surfaces. Some will use rockets for air travel. Our cars today are not very energy efficient. A gallon of gasoline is around 31,000 calories. A human can walk the distance a car travels using one-tenth the energy. The roads also require energy to maintain. There will be rolling robots to carry heavy loads, but there will be walking robots as well for uneven terrain. On a gas giant planet like Jupiter, there would be a variety of robot species. The walking, slithering, jumping robots would deal with tremendous gravity on the surface. There would be flying and gliding robots in the dense, tumultuous atmosphere, taking advantage of wind energy and small amounts of solar energy. Some would float like balloons, using buoyant atoms like hydrogen or helium. The flying robots would form flocks, like we see with insect swarms and migrating birds, for the same purposes of reducing drag, evading predators, and reproductive advantages. The apex predators that fly, the eagles, would live a more solitary life. They would live on the surface and fly temporarily to hunt, because flying at a fast speed is not energy efficient and it cannot be maintained nonstop. Eagles would be fewer in number because energy is lost as it moves up the food chain. These eagles would be the intelligent angels of the gas giants. They would need their intelligence to cope with life on land and also in the air.